here it is. We finally got our hands on the Husqvarna 572. Husqvarna was so kind to send this to us after we made our review of the Steel 462. And we are super excited about it. We're going to put it to the test. We're going to see what it can do and give you guys an honest review. Honest review often means long-term testing and this is one of the big things how Husqvarna promoted this saw that it was tested under extreme conditions all over the world. We want to see what it does and we will probably make another video after having used the saw for quite a while. Husqvarna calls this saw the next legendary chainsaw from Husqvarna. It is the big competition to Steel's 462, which we reviewed in a previous video. Steel's saw had 72 cubic centimeters versus this saw only has 70. On paper, the steel saw is also a little bit stronger than the Husqvarna saw, even though it is half a kilogram lighter. We want to find out what a difference it really makes. On this saw, Husqvarna placed the fins in an angle, which makes the airflow better and helps to cool down the saw. This Husqvarna saw also has autotune, which is the equivalent of Steel's M-Tronic. It is not hard to notice that Husqvarna is aiming for a saw with longevity and reliability. The design of the air filter and fins just being one of the aspects in this matter. So, we take a closer look at this 572, we can see that it has the uh, typical features of uh, Husqvarna's 5 series, like the 560, 562 and so on. It has the typical grey details, it has the caps for the fuel and the chain oil that flip open and then you twist them, which I think are really handy. You have the on off switch that when you turn the saw off, it pops back up. Over here, as we'll see later, you have the nuts that stay in the side case cover here. You have your decompression valve up here. The handle on the bag is made out of rubber, at least this gray part is, which gives you good grip and good control. The handle is nice and thick and feels great in the hand, and it's supposed to be closer to the center of gravity or center of balance of the saw which is supposed to make it handle better. If you look at the top cover you notice that it sticks out quite a bit in the back and on the top. And the reason for that is the air filter. This corner has designed a new air filter with a lot of surface to do a really good job at filtering out the fine stuff and also put in a rubber seal that's supposed to prevent little particles getting into the carburetor and into the engine. This white part here is a so-called heat wall that locks off the space where the carburetor and the air filter are located and the cylinder, keeping the heat from the cylinder in that compartment so that the air entering the air filter is as cool as possible. Did you hear that sound? The whistling? That's the sound of Tim being very satisfied after a cold saw starting after the first draw.
Obviously this is only a first impression type of video, but after just having felt this tree, I have to say, it's a fun saw to run. The saw has great torque and great power, I noticed that right away, and that makes it a lot of fun to use, and it also accelerates quite nice. It's also well balanced, when you, when you go and limb a tree like I did, and you can't rest your saw on the tree too much because the way the tree fell, then it gets kind of heavy. I would say you can definitely limb with it, and it is nicely balanced for that, but it does get a little bit heavy, but other than that I think it's, it's a great saw. It's Great for falling trees. We also have the new X-Cut chain on it. It's the first time for me to use it. And um, it feels great right out of the box, more than other chains I've used that I don't really like the way they feel um, without me having touched them. It's a great out of the box sharpness on the X-Cut chain. Like mentioned in our review of the Steel 462, Steel and Husqvarna saws handle a bit different and it comes down to personal preference. We were super impressed by the Steel 462 and we thought that it would be very hard to beat. But after the first impression on this saw, Tim thought it was so much fun. This saw for sure doesn't come short of that. Maybe in the future we can do a direct comparison of the Steel and the Husqvarna after even using both saws for a longer time. This saw isn't quite available yet in all parts of the world but we expect the price tag to be somewhere close to the steel saw, which will be between 1000 and 1500 euros. With this saw, we are now able to do a more long-term testing. Tim, who is a professional lumberjack and arborist, will take this to work, and we hope to give you some good um, feedback inside to that as well. So thanks for watching, hope you appreciated this, we'll see you in the next video hopefully. Make sure to subscribe, there will be more reviews, more videos, more fun forestry stuff that's already on the channel. And thank you for watching, bye bye. Bye bye.